it's your girl miss lee here good morning good afternoon or good night depending on where you are okay so today as you can see she got her natural look going on um the reason why i've done that because this week i've been toying with the idea and because i kind of went through a little thing myself i'm like hmm let me bring it to y'all and see what you think so this week I heard that the famous American rapper, um, Blueface, baby Blueface, no, not B.O.B., some Blueface, something Blueface, yeah, he had um, a music video going on in his home, there was some, I think, Latino girls, maybe even white girls, I don't know, and one black girl. So these girls started fighting, but the black girl was not involved. She didn't pay top partake. Yeah, that is the right word. She didn't participate. That's it. That's what I'm trying to say in this fight. And because of that, she got her wig snatched. Um, they were laughing at her, thought it was funny, saying she's got no edges or her hair isn't good or something along those lines. Um, I saw the video. It was very unnecessary and very uncalled for. I think despite what the girl looked like, they probably would have still gone for her because she was the only one that wasn't fighting and carrying on ratchet like some ghetto hood rat. But what made it worse is because she was black. And we all know our hair is our crown, you know? Black women, our hair is our crown. We spend millions of pounds a year as a race on a whole on cosmetic products, especially for our hair. So we all know, everyone in the world knows that's our crown don't fuck with our shit don't touch our hair whether it's ours or not that's our crown my problem is though not even my problem but the thing is the reason and then these latino girls sorry let me i skipped this part these latino girls then went on to do um go on their social media dragging the girl saying well you should have had it tacked down if you didn't have good hair ra, ra, ra. whatever just again just doing the most looking the most uh, yo them ugly is it them ugly bad i don't care what anybody says oh you know this race and that race and this mix and that mix is better than black hell no hell no we are the real thing we are the real deal una like it bite it so um my thing is though everyone some people were saying well she was the only black girl there she shouldn't have put herself in that situation um blue faced the rapper and the other black there was men there they were black no one ran to her defense no we cannot black sisters expect our black men who date non-black women to run to our defense this is not beautiful to them. This is not sexy to them. This is weak to them. This is aggressive to them. This is hard work to them. So we cannot expect them to run to our defense, number one. Number two, if we don't love ourselves and accept what we have and also accept it as beauty, how can we expect anybody else to look at us and accept what we have as beauty. Now, I went to my mother's house earlier on, yeah? And my sister was like, she said something along the lines of, oh, you walked over because they don't live too far. And I was like, you can't, you see, I got my hair, I ain't got no wig on, my hair is not laid. No, I got in the car and I drove my black ass to my mother's house, which is like a 30 second car drive. So she was like, what's wrong with your hair? And I'm like, Nothing's wrong with my hair. My hair's clean. I did a treatment. I did a conditioning treatment yesterday with aloe vera and olive oil. You know, I'm really feeling like looking after my hair. I, I've spent years of um, relaxing before. I mean, I haven't relaxed my hair since 2016. But prior to that, I spent years of relaxing, weaves. You would never see my natural hair, never, ever, ever in a day, unless I had my hair cut real, real short, which I've done a few times too. So, yeah, you wouldn't see me do that. Now, I was like, but I don't look bad. My hair is not bad. No black woman has bad hair. Yes, our hair is different lengths. It's not bad. With the right products, sis, you know, the right treatment, the right care and love, your hair can look cute. Now, 
it's taken me a long journey to get to this point and I'm still on my journey because would I go to will would I go to a club like this I haven't even done my edges and I didn't do my edges purposely my daughter was like are you gonna like lay your edges no because I just want it in its natural state that's why I'm bringing this video to you what looks better this this or this now for me, they both look good. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna sit and wear my hair like this all the time. No, A, I like to put my hair away. Um, B, I love different hairstyles, I love different looks. I love coming out looking different a lot of the time, most of the time. You know what I mean? Like creative, this is my creativity and I like to tap into it and I like to play and explore. But if we don't start doing, I'm not saying we've got to start walking around with afros and ish, but if this is, this is my hair in its natural state, isn't it? And if I don't embrace it, no one else is going to embrace it. If I don't feel just as sexy with my natural hair, then I do with a lace wig or a lace frontal, then no one else is going to accept me in my natural state and accept me as beautiful. I've learned that. I'm still on my journey. As I said, I'm not sure if I will rock up at no rave like this you know um it's not about men we have to take men out of the equation it can't be about a man because we already know that a lot of our black men are quite fickle you know we never we wasn't born like kim kardashian shit kim kardashian wasn't born like kim kardashian do you get what i mean i'm just using her as an example because everybody seems to think she's the most beautiful this woman out there her and her sisters each of their own if that's your preference that's your preference but um what i'm trying to say is we have to love ourselves and in these little shits like those supposed i don't know how them call themselves model you know because they're ugly in the blow wall them ugly but those girls those young women wouldn't be able to disrespect our black sister about her natural state hair and her natural state looks if we loved ourselves first. Now, it's not something that you become like, oh, I'm just gonna just be all Nubian and da 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 da. No, but it's a, it's a journey that I think every black woman should go on. And I think that we should teach our children and let it filter down because at the moment we are living in, I feel, a crisis. Back in the day when I was in school, you talking about putting on a wig. Right, even a weave, even a long weave. I mean, I'm not that old. It wasn't that long since I was in school, you know. But you know, we would never be putting on no wigs or no. That was considered for old people. I ain't wearing no wig, me don't. You know, I know now it's fashionable. You've got some really cute units. They look really good and everything. But that's still not um. It's still not us loving ourselves. I remember non-black girls would be like, your hair is amazing. I wish I could get up every day and do different styles. Me and my friends, we, we would plan the next hairstyle, the next day's hairstyle. <laughs> and we would come in in the same hairstyle. We would do the most creative things. And again, because we are fortunate enough to have hair that we can. Yes, sometimes we do damage our hair in the process, but we are still fortunate to, to, to be creative with our, our crowns, you know? And I think that we should embrace it. I think that this should be just as cute as this. And I should be seen, or I should feel just as beautiful rocking this look as I do rocking this look. Now, um, natural hair products are um, very expensive, but if you start investing in making your own products, I know it can be cost more cost effective. Um, and let me just, just cut this shitty myth where people think that black women want to look like white women. No, we do not with our wigs. No, we don't. We just know we look cute. We know we can make that unit look popping and we look cute, number one. And number two, it is easier. Wearing your natural hair is very hard. It's very hard. Like, my curls are starting to shrink already. Like, it's really hard to wear your natural hair. Um, 
because as well like things like if you live in a colder country like i live in london the, you know the natural atmosphere is not great you know i live in a cold country so my hair doesn't get natural um sunlight uh natural heat from the sunlight um so i can't naturally produce oils from my hair um i i'm always in uh central heating where we have gas central heating so that dries out our hair you know in the summer when it's hot you know if you walk into an office or you walk into a shop you got the ac on that also dries out our hair it's not easy to have natural hair living as a black woman because we have all these things that does affect the how our hair feels and how our hair behaves however however we put in work in our hair you know and I just feel that it's really sad that when we do a lot of the time we are I wearing the units right has made my edges like I don't I wouldn't say I've got edges that are gone but it's made it really lighter yeah and that's through wearing units and and weaves it's not through um just me like pulling my hair back in one or anything like that and that's because it rubs. It's friction. It's something that's on your hair. It's a foreign object. No matter how you make it look, it's a foreign object on your hair. Yeah? And it rubs. It rubs it away. In hair, is fine because nothing is really pressure. But obviously, we want hair to be quite snug when we put our wigs on. So it's, it's quite flat. Or people be gluing, got to be gluing-ish on your hairline. Those are things that break our hair. I'm not saying I'm not going to be wearing my wigs. Yes, I'm still going to be slaying in my wigs when I'm ready. But we have to love our natural state just as much as we love ourselves with our wigs. Now, this video was really hard for me to do because um, I will walk around my family. I'll go to my families or be around my family with, in, with my natural state. I have never done this um the world to see so this is difficult but i actually do believe it's a journey and it's a journey that i've started and i would like a lot of my other sisters out there to do the same now i know there's a lot of natural women out there but there's still a large majority of us that we are natural underneath what we got but we're just not confident enough or we're not loving ourselves enough to um wear our natural hair let me know what you think do i look better like this or do I look better with my wigs or weaves? Let me know. Um, it would be nice to get like men comments as well. But it's not, as I said, it's not about men. Men can only disrespect us because we don't respect ourselves. Um, and we don't love what we have. So yeah. Please comment down below. Like and subscribe and share. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.